Hello everyone and welcome to this Python tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to test the REST API with the POST method using the Python request library. So let's begin. In our previous tutorial, we learned that how we can test the REST API with the GET method. And when we talk about the PUT, POST and PATCH, these are different from the GET because in PUT, PATCH, we need to send a body to the server. And if you see this example where we learn how to you know test the get api here we are not sending any data to the server right so uh, again for this tutorial we will be using the same apis and let me open this one so let me go to the browser here and open this website and let's pick up the post call from here and here we have this create user. So we have this create user. So let me open this one here. So this is a call and this is a body which we need to send to the server. Now let's go to the Python here and let me copy this lines of code from here so that we don't need to write each and everything again and again. So let me create a new file and here I will be naming it as rest api underscore post method and let's paste this one here the base url is basically remains same here because this is a base url slash in and then we have this is the endpoint right so let me copy this one and let me go back here and here let me provide the endpoint here so this is a complete path and let me confirm this from here so request.in slash api slash users yes now instead of using this get here what we need to do is that we need to go with the post call so you can use the put and patch in the similar way right so post and here now what we need to provide we need to provide a url as well as we need to provide a json body right so let's first define the json body here or the payload so before the request what i will do is that i will say payload or the json body is equals to and here i need to provide the json so let me go back here, go to the website. So this is a JSON which we need to send to the server. So let me copy this one and let me paste it here. Now we have the URL, we have the payload, we have created a request for the post. Now what we need to do is that we need to provide a URL here and we need to provide a payload. If you provide a payload here in this way, you will get a failure. And let me show you why you will get a failure. Let me run this file and let me show you. You will see that the request is not successful. In case of successful, it will be printing the response. If we are getting the response uh, status code equals to 200. So in order to define a payload, what we need to do is that we need to add a keyword called data equals to payload here and this payload is basically a name of this particular variable now if i execute this one it should give us a status code 200 and if this is the case we should also be you know printing the response right so the request is post url data everything is good to go now let's run this one and see what happens so right now still we are getting some issue here and we are getting requests not successful okay so this if this else block is running and if i go here yeah so basically the response is basically the expected response code is 201 not 200 so if i go back here and if I change it to 201, now this time it should work. Yes, the request is successful and the status code 
It's basically let me change it to one and let me run it again. So the request is successful and the status code is 201 and we are getting the complete response here. So in this way, you can actually test the post API and in a similar way, you can test the put and patch. So let me summarize this one. So we are getting a complete URL using the base URL endpoint. We are defining our JSON payload. Then using the request library, we are using the post and inside this, we are passing the URL and the payload. And how we need to send a payload? We need to use this keyword called data equals to, and then we need to provide a variable. This is the variable we used. And then we are simply using FS to make sure that our request is successful or not. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.